Hi friends, today we are going to Kyoto. I went by myself and so I had to catch the overnight bus in Akihabara at midnight. Here's me hopping on the train and headed to Akihabara and I was kind of struggling like carrying all this stuff. It's kind of weird because I moved to Tokyo by myself but I think I was like mentally prepared to do that so I consider this like my first time traveling solo solo for a vacation. The bus stopped like three different times at different rest areas and this is me running through one of them trying to get to the bathroom. I should have recorded better. I don't know why I was feeling shy even though like it was literally in the middle of the night and no one was there. I arrived in Kyoto super early so a lot of businesses weren't open yet. Um, I went to Nishiki Market first and it was really nice to just walk around and soak everything in before it got busy. Nishiki Market is a street full of food vendors from like ramen, sushi, to dessert, to seafood. It was really great. I went back every day. I hope this style of vlogging is okay because I have like two more Kyoto vlogs planned and I'm not sure if I want to do a voiceover or not but I wanted to try something new with this one. Kyoto is really famous for its matcha and this cafe was one of the few vendors open on Nishiki Market because I was there so early. I got a matcha smoothie and matcha cookie. Check-in for the hotel was at 2 p.m. and I came at 7 a.m. So I had a lot of downtime. I bookmarked a lot of places on Google Maps, but I didn't have concrete plans. I just kind of wandered around. If I noticed that I was near a place that I was interested in visiting, I visited. I think some of the best adventures are unplanned ones. I'd like to apologize if I film anything offensive or if my behavior is offensive. I went to these shrines because I felt like they were a must visit while visiting Kyoto, but I'm not really sure about the etiquette or how to properly behave at a shrine, so I just came to observe. Behind this shrine was this really beautiful park surrounded by the mountains. I came and sat here for almost two hours and I was just reflecting because 
Shrines kind of make me sad. I don't know what it is, but spiritual places, they feel really heavy to me. So I just sat with nature and kind of tried to kill time until my hotel check-in. I had already dropped off my baggage and they were taking care of it for me, but I couldn't like go somewhere to sit and rest or just like to unpack a little to get comfortable. This is the conclusion of the first Kyoto vlog. Let me know what do you think about the style. I'm sorry it's been a while um, since I've uploaded two. I've been really enjoying life here in Tokyo. Let me know what you want to see next. Thank you.